dress for cutting edge comedy, my guest in the comedy corner today was sued by her own in laws for what she said about them in her stand up act. I love that. Please welcome Sunda Kunquist. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. I, I know you from years and years back. So you want to have something in common. Uh, we both marry Jewish guys. Yeah. Yeah, I like a Jewish man. Do you? A tall, yeah, skinny one. That's good. Well, yeah. I, don't, I don't have it that way, but that's okay. He's a nice hairy Jew. He's a hairy Jew. He's a hairy, is there any other kind? <laughs> yeah. Bald. <laughs> well, he's got more hair on his chest than on his head, but that's okay. And okay. I'm black. <laughs> so I want a cornrow it. I'm confused. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> Not so, um, <laughs> uh, do you get along with the rest of the in-laws? I mean, you was, I just, it's they been sued drama. you. They it's, sued me. It was drama. I mean, you know, he's a good husband. He yeah. gave me two beautiful kids, Aviva and Toba. But the meeting of the in-laws, that was totally different. Because he decides to introduce me to his family for Pesach, for Passover. Yeah. And in the car on the way to Passover, Seder, he leans over. He's like, I'm thinking about it. Let's not tell Mommy you're black. <laughs> I'm thinking that's brilliant. She'll never notice. <laughs> But she noticed, and that's when I noticed that Jews can't whisper. Have you noticed this, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it's amazing because Latinos got it down, you know, you know, and then you know, brothers got it down. They could whisper. I don't know what my brother's saying. See what I'm saying? I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> but Jews can't whisper. I met Ruthie for the first time. And I said, thank you so much for having me. She said, oh, the pleasure's all mine. Have a seat. Elliot, put my pocketbook away. <laughs> no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did, and I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, who else gives you a hard time, now? Well, you know, it's not so much a hard time, but, you know, it's, it's my background's pretty different, so it does make drama. But, you know, I, I have drama with the in-laws, with the... Uh, the Beverly Hills Police Department. Really? Everybody, yeah, we can do that. Well, what do they do to you? We can do that. What because I'm one of those ambiguous people now. That's what they call it. When you're mixed, you're ambiguous. Yeah. So they don't know where you are. Yeah, There's yeah, only yeah. one group of people that know who I am. Other black people and the Beverly Hills Police Department. Okay? <laughs> Hands down. Hands down. Well, you're also... You you're also a Catholic girl. You were. That's you went really... to Catholic school. You converted to Judaism. Why did you... Uh, why did you convert to Judaism from Catholicism? Did the rabbis not hit you? Is that what it was? No, no, the rabbis didn't hit me. They charged me, and that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> and the Catholic school girls from Patterson know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. The nuns started it. Sister Bernadine started all the drama. Uh -huh. She was like, you know, Sunda, you need to get closer to God. You need to get closer to Jesus. I said, Sister, I want to be just like Jesus. I want to be a Jew. That's how it all began, all right? <laughs> Because I was very repressed in Catholic school, because the only time you could get loose was in mass, you know? And I went to school, there was no Sundas or no Joys, you know? It was Eileen, Maureen, Colleen, Chlorine, Florine, Celine. <laughs> Not Celine. us. Celine Dion. Celine is in L.A. What about Celine Dion? <laughs> so it was a trip, and so the only time they got loose was in mass, and they would break out, and they would be just like, you know, sons of God, here's Hollywood, gather around the table of the Lord. And I'm the only chocolate chip in the class, you know? <laughs> I'm like, yo, you can sing to God, but be a diva. Be like Cher if you have to, but let God notice you, you know? <laughs> Sons of God, hear his holy word. Gather around the table of the Lord. <laughs> Eat his body, drink his blood. That's where it, that's where it stops for the Jews. That's a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker for the Jews, because the Jews are saying, oh, how unappetizing. No coffee, no cake. <laughs> that was a good impression. Do you also have a gay following? I do. I'm not, <laughs> not as good as your gay following, though. I got to tell you that. What about Beyonce? Do you do her, too? Beyonce. Oh, I love Beyonce. I, 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 I'm a Beyonce lover. I love Beyonce. Oh, Beyonce. So the inaugural address, the Super Bowl. I, I need some help, though, like, with the single ladies. She's making that money and she can afford that hair because she got to move like that. <laughs> Thanks so much, 
Shasunda Grinquist. You can Thank catch you. her on her podcast, Laugh Factory Moms at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, or on the James and Sunda Show on Jewish Life. What else? What else? TV. Check your local listings. We'll be right back. Up next, if cellulite, acne, or dry, cracked skin is keeping you covered up, dermatologist Dr. Doris. Day That's why she's making that money. She can afford that hair because she got to move like that. <laughs> Jacinda Grinquist. You can Thank catch you. her on her podcast, Laugh Factory Moms, at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, or on the James and Sunda Show on Jewish Life. What else? What else? TV. <laughs> Check your local listings. We'll be right back. Up next, if cellulite, acne, or dry, cracked skin is keeping you covered up, dermatologist Dr. Doris.